right about here should be a perfect aim. There we go. We did get some really good hits in. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more of The Last Leviathan. No time for BS. I wanted to go into a couple of things about the different weaponry that you can utilize in the boat and kind of show you some of the things I like and don't like about them. Now, I'll also mention that I have gotten a new microphone, so you guys are going to have to let me know how it works. I'm going to be doing a bunch of tweaks with it just to get it sounding cleaner and better. And just let me know if it is completely offending or if it sounds a little bit richer. Now, getting into the weaponry, you had remembered, uh, if you've watched my previous episode, that I horribly dislike the triple mini cannons. And the reason for that is, like I had said, if you try and do a space formation like what we have here with these mortars, you're just not going to do enough singular damage to a single block in order to take it out. It's kind of terrible because it spreads out the damage all over the boat. So you have an opponent with a lot of spread out damage, but you're not actually punching through to get to the steering column or to take out their cannons or to take out their rudders or their propulsion. Now, like I had said, there's a couple of ways to win in the last Leviathan. Now, if you're fighting in the battle seas right now, there's only one way to win, essentially, which is either to do enough damage to the boat where it surrenders and blows up, or to take that steering column out. But, in any realistic fight, obviously, if you take out things like the propulsion or the rudders, you're going to have a much easier time defeating the boat, because it not being able to move, or it not being able to turn, is a horrible, horrible situation. So... Is there anything that you can do about the mini cannons to make them not suck as much? Yes. The only issue is, is that to do this, you have to do what I hate, which is putting a bunch of cannons in a clustered area. So if a lucky mortar comes in, you may lose a bunch of firepower all at once. What I would do if I was utilizing mini cannons, well, actually, let's, let's go into the one benefit about the mini cannon. So you pick a mini cannon, you put it down. Just like the mortar, the mini cannon does not protrude past the side of the boat on the tile that you place it on, which is nice. I do like that, and I do appreciate that. This means that you don't have to recess the mini cannons. You can kind of keep them on this tile, and they'll do fairly well. What I would do if I was doing mini cannons is I would probably put two of them together like this. So let's take this out. Let's put... A, let's put a double block here just for some extra oomph and I would put too many cannons here as well and we'll go and try out the mini cannons real quick in a fight and I'll kind of show you the difficulty with them the other issue with the mini cannons and I imagine that the developers are eventually going to be fixing this is that when you're doing a space bar styled cycle firing method the attack from the mini cannons, is, it seems a bit slower, I think everything is a bit slower, than when you zoom out from your boat and you just do a left click attack. So let's go and move all of these out, and we'll put mini cannons on here, and then we'll go and do a quick attack on a Hulk class ship. You know what I've decided? Let's go all mini cannons. Let's put mini cannons on the front as well. We're going to take all this off, and like I had said, mini cannons are the best when you have them all... When you have a great deal of them all in a line. So let's do this. And what else can we do with this boat just to make it a little bit beefier? We may even be able to build up these sides a little bit. So how would I build up these sides? You're going to notice you can't... Let's say you wanted to build this double block and you wanted to build it over the top of these mini cannons. You can't do it right now. And the reason why is because... You need a connecting block. You can't put this block sideways right now. Maybe that's something that they'll also be changing. And you think to yourself, well, I'll just put down a angled block here. You can't do that either. So what you have to do is you have to go over to your square blocks, put one of those down first. Then you can put an angled block like this. Then you can go over to your double blocks and you can put some double blocks across the top here to completely house in all those mini cannons. Let's go do that for both sides. Okay, so at this point you can see we've crafted something like a tank boat almost. It's got blocks on all sides so that it can take a lot of damage before it folds. What else would I do? We have about 450 power left. We could think about using some armor right now, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of armor right on the sides here. This isn't going to protect a lot, 
because we just don't have a mu enough to make it very protective. But at the very least, we can get a little bit of armor down. And you can see now, we're out of we're out of we're out of blocks. We're out of power right now. We can't put any more ar armor down. So let's see if we can find any single blocks that we can delete and create double blocks instead to try and save some power. Okay, I found some right here. Let's go delete these and replace this with a double block. This is what I was talking about where you'll be able to save some power now and again if you find these and change them. And it looks like we have another one right here that we can do. Let's go and change this over to a double block. And then we have one on the bottom here. Go ahead and take this out and replace this with a double block. Found one more over here. Oh, I figure I mentioned as well, if you're kind of wondering whether or not what you're taking out is a single block or a double block, when you hold down on shift, you can actually see an outline, but sometimes you'll be dealing with blocks that are inside of the middle of your boat. When you delete them, you can watch to see what the negative is that you're deleting. So you can see it's 10 right there and then 10 again. So that means that we did not delete like some sort of weird hidden double block that was around there. They were both single blocks. Looks like we've got two more over here. This is what I was talking about. If you just kind of go through your boat and look around, you'll find all kinds of places that there lie single blocks. It, this looks like another one right here. And you can keep kind of perfecting your boat and getting that block count down. You can see now we're only at 120 blocks. Getting that block count down and saving yourself a little bit more power each time. All right, so we're still missing just a little bit of power to get this final shield down. And it's really annoying me that we don't have an equal amount of shields. So what I'm going to do is take this shield off of here. And we're going to put shields on the front here. And the reason why is because I can tell already that the balance of this thing is going to be slightly toward the rear. Just because we do have some props down here that's going to be causing us to take off very quickly. So putting a little bit more weight up at the front here is not necessarily a bad thing. And we're more likely to take damage right in this area than so much in this area. Just based on the angle that I plan on coming into other ships. We had enough for one more shield right there. Might as well put it there. While I'm here doing this with you guys, I figure I would just mention another reason that I don't really like a different weapon, which is these fire cannons. So if we look at the ammo type for the mini triple cannon, the triple mini cannon, we got a mini cannonball. That's all it says. No explosions, no fire, nothing. With the deck cannon, we get an explosive cannonball. And with the fire cannon, we get a flaming cannonball. And then with the mortar, we get both. We get explosive and flaming cannonballs. That's why I love these things so much. So... The fire cannon has a very strong arc. It has a very slow rate of fire. But there's another reason that I hate this thing. The footprint on this is two blocks high instead of one block high like all these other weapons. Not only is it two blocks high, it's two blocks long. What does this mean? This means that let's say we wanted to enclose the fire cannons like we're enclosing these mini cannons. We actually can't do it. Watch when we go over here to hull. And we choose our double blocks, for instance. When we try and go one block up, we can't connect it. We can't connect this here because the fire cannon takes up two blocks high. And I hate that because that means that we have to build another block up, which causes our ship to be just this huge towering lug of a thing. And I don't know. I just don't like it that much. I don't think that the damage and the fire is enough to justify the weapon. When you have something like the explosive shot from the deck cannon. Also note that the weight on the fire cannon is quite a bit more than the deck cannon. 20% more. And almost... What is this now? This is 1200 compared to 800. So 50% more than the triple cannon. And actually a little bit heavier than the mortar cannon. Very unusual. Alright, so here we are in the battle seas. We're going to go try and take this pirate ship out in just a second. But before I do that, let me just show you something unusual about the point to click and then, or to fire I should say, and then the firing with the space bar. So if we point to click, you can see it's like this perfect three shot pattern that fires out like that there. But let's move over to the space bar and see what happens. Look at this. It's like some sort of weird staggered pattern. I don't know why exactly this happens. 
I don't know why it changes up like that. I'm just not a big fan of why that only seems to happen with the triple cannon. While we're here, though, we've got an opponent looking at us, so let's go give him what for and see how good these triple cannons are against what looks like a very, very difficult opponent. Now, the good thing about the triple cannons is that they do fly relatively straight. You can see that right where my crosshair is, is right where they fire. So let's get ourselves lined up. We'll do a little bit of broadside action. We've got the four deck cannons, or not the four deck cannons. We've got the four mini cannons on this side. Let's see how well they can whip this ship up. Oh yeah, we are laying in some decent beats here. Oh, if I can stop ricocheting all over the place. See, now we've got the staggered pattern going on. I don't know why this is. I think it might be because when we're a little bit too tilted, it doesn't want to hit its own hull. I'm not 100% sure though about this. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. Let's slow down so that we can aim up a slight bit easier on this ship. There we go. Now we're laying in some decent beats. But again, we're getting a lot of hits, but I'm not totally sure how much damage we're actually laying in. Let's go ahead and do a straight shot here. Oh, apparently we've found, we've found a, I think that this is a grave of one of our last opponents. We're dragging it with us. Oh, this thing is right on us. Get the hell off of my boat. Why is this happening? Get out of here. Jeez. Ah! And now because we had to get off of that thing, we're taking fire. All right, here we go. Let's try and get, uh, out of the way, graveyard. I don't have time for your crap. Excellent, here we go. Now we're only firing with one cannon again. I'll never understand why this happens. It, is it because we only have one cannon in the front? No, we have two. Oh, we're getting beat up here. Hold on, let me change back over and see if we can mini cannon this guy to death. Oh, mini cannons. Oh, mini cannons. I hate your aiming methods. Gray also needs to learn to play. I'm so bad at aiming with these things. Now, some of this might just be my practice, but man, I love deck cannons so much more when it comes to just straight up damage. Here we go again. We're only doing one cannon at a time. Why is this? I have no idea. Let's see if we can take out this mini cannon though, so that it stops firing at us. There we go. Now we've disabled almost all of their ways to do damage, so now it's just a matter of winning. Let's go and turn things around here, get lined up, and see if we can finish this guy off with a nice mini cannon barrage. There we go. And a little bit of mini cannon fire right here. Those are good hits right to the middle of the ship. But again, we're just not really doing very much, unfortunately. And now it's, we're, we're tilted so far that I can't get a good shot on it. There we go. Oh yeah. So this is a great opportunity to show how much damage or how little damage the mini cannon does. You can see I'm throwing it right into the bulk of the ship and it's taking at least three to four shots to take out these various blocks and it's just taking forever. Like we're slowly sawing away at this ship but it's not doing lethal damage. We want to just blow this thing apart and get our win that way and it's just not working. There we go. We finally took the win. So now that we've seen the mini cannons at work, let's switch things around a little bit and try out those fire cannons and see what they can do to a ship. Here we go. This is what we'll be using for the fire cannons. I've decided to stick with the two pod formation for the fire cannons just to maybe get a little bit more damage in when we do do a volley to a ship. Let's get this thing sailing and find ourselves a pirate. All right, guys, we've spotted a pirate. Let's get in there, get these fire cannons online, and see if they can do enough damage to sink this guy. It looks like a pretty darn beefy ship. Let's get lined up. Now, we have to take into consideration the heavy arc that we're going to be dealing with with these fire cannons. Right about here should be a perfect aim. There we go. We did get some really good hits in, but we're also taking a lot of damage. See if I can get aimed up right about here, and that should lay into the underneath of the hull. Those were all good hits. You can see the ship is on fire and it's burning. I think it's also heading toward the shoreline. Not exactly the best way to fight Gray Still Plays to head to the shoreline. Ooh, he's beached. Let's try and finish him off with four more lined up shots right about here. Should do it. Uh, nope, that was a little bit low, and we're coming to the island, too. We have to take this into consideration. Let's move ourselves around. Those were direct hits. All right, we got to get lined up. 
we're all over the place now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great, guys. The entire ship is on fire. This is the one good thing about the fire cannons. When you get the entire ship on fire, it's going to be doing damage over time unless the ship touches the water in the area where it's on fire. Let's get lined up right around here and do it to it! Did we overshoot it? I think we may have gotten one or two hits in there. There we go! Those were direct hits to the back of the boat. And you can see he is clearly fleeing now. Wants no part of us at this point. This ship doing not too bad. I think we have all of our cannons still online. We do. Let's get ready right here and... Oh yeah, there we have it. Oh boy, we're taking some fire from those deck cannons on the side. We gotta watch out not to be too close. Excellent. There's only one cannon left for us to deal with. And there we go. The battle is ours. So maybe the fire cannons are a little bit better than I give them credit for. I'm not sure. We did take a little bit of damage. Guys, what do you think compared from the mini cannons to the fire cannons? You got to see the rate of fire. You got to see the overall damage that they do. I would definitely put the fire cannons before the mini cannons. But I'm not sure if I would put them with my favorite, the mortars. Feel free to leave your guys' opinions in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.